Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so after all the work I've been doing these last couple days, it has finally paid off. Uh, yeah, just, you know, with the moon base, well, the moon station started, and we got the core module on that, we're gonna start working on that pretty hardcore and getting that set up soon. Um, the Minmus base, uh, I left off basically with attaching the fuel tanks, and there was a reason for that, mostly because it was shaking around like crazy. So, I was just looking for the quickest fix I could possibly do, and I ended up coming down with basically uh, having to reconstruct the entire base. Now, I did not have to reland any new modules or anything like that, but basically I learned a little bit, uh, I guess, another new piece of information and in constructing bases that apparently uh, really does affect how the base itself actually is sitting on the surface. Now, um, I'll probably explain that once we get there and everything else, but... Um, it was it was pretty crazy stuff. That's all I can say. I, I had to basically reconstruct everything, and in doing so, I ended up losing something on the station, or I mean on the base, I should say. I I ended up having to relaunch a new mission. I didn't record it or anything like that. I just I, I didn't really see the point in recording it and everything because I'm pretty sure you guys probably would have not wanted to see it. But basically, I ended up sending more of the connecting pieces up there. Uh, I ended up losing one of those and one of the the turning the elbow pieces that I've created and so I just kinda figured I might as well launch something like that and just do it by myself and you know it only took me a few like I think it took me maybe like 25 minutes or so to get everything there get it all set up and you know all that jazz how, and normally how it is. So Whoa, that was kind of... I, I was really hoping that that didn't collide. Now let's see, is there... structural pieces on this? I'm gonna slow it down a little bit just to make sure that this rocket doesn't come apart. Now, no fears, um, I, I do... I am a little bit unsure of this design uh, as far as getting there and, um, you know, all that good stuff what okay I was I'm looking at this and I thought the fuel was getting drained I'm a little unsure of this design and not in a bad way it's mostly because of the fact that I haven't really tested it out I did test the launch a couple times and I usually do that before I shoot the video but as far as getting there um no idea just none so I should cover a little bit about this thing uh yeah, I guess it's not really going to work out over here now, is it? Um, basically, I wanted to have a landing pad that would be easy to land on. And that part, as far as landing is concerned, I mean, you know, plus the size of this thing isn't really that big. And if I wanted an easy thing to land on, I could have landed on or created a different kind of lander or something like that or I mean a uh, landing pad but basically I came down with this design as being the best way and also the easiest way to get into space along with landing and being able to land on it so this is going to work out hopefully now I'm going to have to redesign and create some kind of a lander that's specifically designed to land on something like this because I, I really don't know how it's going to work. Now you might notice that there is nine docking ports on there. I am not going to create a lander that has nine docking ports on it to fit up directly. It's going to have one big docking port on it and that's it. So the big docking port is basically going to be used for or uh, well the nine docking ports are basically going to be used for if I miss or something along those lines. So I think we have just ran out of fuel. Yes, we did. And this piece did break off like I expected it to. So we need to aim up a little bit. We're getting past our AP. Come on, come on, come on. Come back. Come back, please. Come back. 
But yeah, like I said, I'm not too worried about this thing getting to space. I'm just a little worried about uh, basically it working out the exact way that I'm thinking it's going to work out. And I mean, if you guys, once I get it landed, you guys are basically going to understand the, the basics behind it and everything and kind of how it's all going to work. So, you know... I'm gonna drop down for a mid-miss orbit and basically land on top of this thing and I'm, I'm just going to have to really figure out what kind of lander I'm going to use for this I want it to be I want to have like a very stable lander and everything else I, I a lot of testing that's all I can say I got a lot of work ahead of me this base itself um, I basically took me about a day and a half or so of you know, in between, I, I shot the two videos yesterday, and after those two videos, I felt like, okay, well, I got enough of a buffer to where I can work for a couple days on this thing and figure out, basically, what's wrong with it. So, right now, I'm feeling fairly confident that this base is... Excuse me, I'm, I'm pretty confident that this base is a-okay. -okay. I'm just a little concerned with the... Um, it still has pieces that are lifting up, but instead of clipping into the ground, which is a bad thing, they're clipping into, or they're just clipping up, which isn't bad, alright? Like, with designing these bases, the number one thing you don't want is the parts clipping into the ground. If they clip into the ground, basically, once they, uh, once the physics gets loaded on them, they will shoot up because of the fact that, you know, it's like the buoyancy you know it would be like buoyancy almost like on the water you know if you're pushing down a buoy and then you let go it's just gonna shoot up so I think that kind of explains it the best possible way I'm not saying that min miss uh, I'm not saying min miss is made out of water but uh, yeah so this has been this has been uh, you know honestly I've put more work into this space than I did min miss base alpha for some reason, or Minmus Base Beta, I should say, because, like, Minmus Base Beta, I, I, I got the pieces up there, and, you know, I got everything all set up, and, you know, I got everything landed, and all that other good stuff, but, you know, like, I didn't even take my time on this, on the Minmus Base Beta, like, I just kind of slapped everything together, and it all worked, and I don't mean to say that in a bad way, but it's just, like, I, 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 don't understand why this one is taking so much more work than the last one so we reached orbit good stuff burned a lot of fuel probably in the process yeah so anyways um i'm gonna leave it here and i'll see you once we are you know getting close to landing and all that good stuff
and we are back guys yeah so we're on the main descent right now um i just kind of felt like i should cut out some of the landing i know that the landings are getting a little uh getting to be a little bit much uh you know i i've really been trying to uh make cut these landings the the landing times down by a lot because it does take me a little bit while uh, wow it takes me a little while sometimes to actually lock on with a landing and you know really get the landing set up even right now it looks like we're off by a little bit which isn't bad but that will work I am okay with this so we just gotta bump it over a little bit but right now it's looking pretty good so yeah um, you know once again this base it took me a little while to really get everything lined up and fixed up on it so it's looking a little bit different compared to last time so that's all I'm going to say it is up now um, I did check the weight on it it is up to 80 tons so we have an 80 ton land base this is just it's amazing I, that's all I gotta say I, I can't believe I've actually mastered it in a sense already now to where it's that good. I I, I just didn't think um, I would be able to really pull it off at the end. You know, I thought that we might start experiencing problems with it in some kind of way, but overall it's been pretty good. It, it's just been... Uh, you know, making sure that everything kind of falls together the right way has been pretty much the main concern right now. Just bump us over a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I can't even speed this up. That sucks. So I'll probably end up bringing this down. I might speed it up a little bit, but... Yeah, so I one of the some of the stuff I should cover, you know, I, I did use that piece that we landed, that little elbow piece. I ended up using that instead of using the ones that I landed. Um, we added uh, one. Wait, no, it would be two new um, pieces. Well, at least I added two new pieces before the end of it, basically. Then I transferred. I moved over the lander and rover all the way over here because we just don't need them right now. Don't have any purpose for them. And uh, then I took the Kerbal that was inside there and brought him all the way over here. So now he's living in the moon base as well. So we got three inhabitants. I'm thinking about landing another group. Um, you know, I'll probably do that off camera. You guys can let me know whether or not you want to actually see that. Um, if you, if not, I mean, I'll land another. I'll basically use the exact same lander, but I'll probably either take off the rover or try to design something else that I can put on there. So, but with um, the lander, I'll probably land. I'm thinking about landing another three down, and I'm just gonna keep it low. I'm gonna keep it at like six gerbils on the surface of Minmus. And, wow, this thing's looking awesome already. So, I just got to get us closer to this thing because we're not very close right now. And I don't want to waste a lot of time with this. So, let's... We're going to be on this side of it, so we, we are off on the landing by, like, a little bit. Not much. Just a tidbit. Alright, uh, bring this over a little bit more. That's good. Now we gotta rock it back over, and I'll start using the RCS. So we haven't used RCS basically this whole mission, so... Start using the RCS. Oh yeah, and I should uh, also mention there was a little bit added weight that I didn't mention. Uh, you know, these are fuel tanks in here separating this out, so that's why... Um, in the beginnings there, I ended up transferring out a lot of fuel. I also got trolled on the freaking uh, time, too. I thought that, because it was telling me a specific time, and then it, it, first it was like seven minutes, and then it dropped down to, I think, a minute and a half or something like that. And I'm just looking at this, and I'm like, yeah, this doesn't seem right for some reason. And uh, then it shot back once I started my initial burn then it shot back up to like I think 
like 15 or not 15 like four and a half minutes and I'm like wow gee thanks so yeah that's why the orbit was a little bit off just by a tidbit not not much it looks like we're gonna come down pretty close to this thing though um, I'm thinking about rocking it back over a little bit just so um, yeah it looks like we're coming down like right on top so ooh, we need to go the other way yeah yeah, yeah. come on just d give it a little bit of a nudge now I'm going to land on this tank here and there's a reason for that I will explain once we get on the ground and I'm probably gonna speed things up a little bit as well so all right start slowing things down my frame rate is at 11 just want to be as close as I can to this docking port which in that I mean we are pretty freaking close as it is so we just gotta slow down just a little bit more please please stop freaking out oh I hate these payloads these really just massive heavy payloads that just don't want to budge come on all right all right perfect amazing so yeah anyways I am going to do a couple things one of them being I gotta transfer out fuel from this stage it back into this just so we have these things all filled with fuel I'm going to cut and um, also you know I'm gonna bring this piece down onto the surface and I got to also basically load and reload this um, Re load and reload the base so this whole landing piece disappears as well so anyways guys um, I'll see you in a second yeah and we're back again I I so sorry about this guys um, I you guys have no idea how much like I'm pulling my hair out right now just trying to make this work I, I really am just beside myself right now trying to figure out what is the problem with this thing it looks like this is working though but I mean I I'm, I'm just you know I'm really just baffled at how something will work but then five minutes later it won't work and it's this is just driving me crazy right now to say the least so all right, we gotta cancel out a lot of this motion too. Oh my God, we're taking off. We are really taking off. We gotta cancel out a lot of this motion too because I can't even hit the ground going less than like a few, like four or five meters a second, or well, not even that, I should say, going over like a couple meters a second, otherwise it's gonna start screwing things up. I don't know how well this like landing pad is going to fare when I actually start landing stuff on it. it I there's a part of me that thinks that this is just going to be a fun little experiment, but as far as actually using it for something, I don't know if this is going to be the winner when it comes down to landing pads. I might end up having to do a redesign on this as well as the base. So I, I, you know, I hate to say that, but I, I you know, I maybe we'll start another base. Alright, we gotta go towards the base. You know, maybe I'll start another base. I mean, I got the fundamentals down as far as everything else, but I don't want to, you know, my, my worst fear is going to land on this base or something and then it starts to jump around or you know just do some kind of crazy witchcraft that it's doing because I, I really just you know I'm I'm trying to make sure that this thing stays together whoa yeah operating a sky crane is a lot easier said than done that's all I can say slow this down descent nope there we go. A 
there we go. Perfect. Very nice and gentle landing. Uh, we just need to go over a little bit to the right, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, Alright, that's looking good. So let's get this close to the base now, and uh, then I'll get ready to do the, the docking portion of it. Because I'm ready to break something right now. Wow. Slow down. Can't lose any of those landing pad pieces. Too important. Alright, so... Um... Yeah. Let's see. Alright, that's pretty close. I'm gonna put the gear down on the base. Even though this seems like a really bad idea to me. Well, you know, the, now the, fundamental, eh, the fundamentals are down as well. I mean, I'm gonna try to figure out something that is a little bit different with this base. I don't know. Um, I'll turn the torque. Ooh, excuse me. I'll turn the torque off on that. I'll speed it up a second. And you can see, I mean, that stuff kind of moves around still. And I don't know if it's it has to do with the legs, if it has to do with the control surfaces, or if it has to do with the actual modules being a little bit off or not i mean they're off but if you like look like even on this module here when it's sped up when this is sped up it, it shoots up a little bit but it comes back down so i mean it really isn't that big of a deal as long as it's as long as it's not below ground that's the only part that i think really matters so all right let's switch back and let's get this piece docked up uh, hopefully we don't encounter any problems and that's a big hopefully so I'll put the gear down so it's nice and flush with the other piece there we go um now let's see Bring it in nice and slowly. I think we need to go off to the left. All right, we're, we're taking off. All right, stop it right there. That's perfect. It's close enough to where I think they'll grab. All right, just kind of wiggle this around and then knock it forward. Actually, I'm going to speed up physics here. Slow it down. There we go. Now... Just need a rocket. Rocket forward. There we go. So we got a landing pad now, guys. After all, I, I, I think I was just about to pull my hair out there. Let's see if it's level at least. Yeah, it's level. I mean, it, it's lifting up in the air, but that's not a bad thing. So, um, you know, that that's pretty much, I'm okay with this. So you guys can see, I mean, I've really tried to fix up this base, but there's really only so much you can do, and I think it has to do with the fact that these landing legs, or well, I should say these legs, are not very strong, and they basically can break at a whim. So I really think it has to do with that, if anything. So anyways, guys, um, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. Uh, to all new, you new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.